Vad säger du? Yes, um, members of the commission, uh, place commission meeting had been posted with the city clerk, and it's up in a public place outside city hall. All right. Suing the agenda, uh, we have acceptance of the meeting minutes for the June twentieth, two thousand nineteen meeting. Thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Proceeding with number one. Application for special one-day license to sell, dispense, malt beverages and wines only, or either one, for license commission ratification. Issued July 8, 2019, to Ashley Roper, the catering manager of Aramark, for the educational summer residency welcome, which is Tuesday, July 9th, from 2.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., held at the Allen House at Two Solomon Way. And Ashley is at the counter. Name and address, please. How did it go? Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> good, no problems. No problems. Anybody want to move ratification? Move Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you very much, Ashley. Thank you. Proceeding with the next item is Stephen Sartori of the Greater Lowell Roadrunners for the Greater Lowell Roadrunners Annual Family Picnic for Sunday, July 21st, 2019, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m at the Shed Park Pavilion. Name and address, please. Stephen Sartori to Somerset Place, Chelmsford. Tell us about your event. Uh, it's a family picnic for our membership. Uh, it's an annual event. Uh, it's held at Shed Park every year. Thank you. Any Move questions? approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank have you. Have fun, Steve. Thank you. Now we have Heather Austin of the Coco Luna LLC for event at Mill Number no. 5, 250 Jackson Street, the fourth floor hallway in the hi hat stage area. This is the promotion Harder Than July for Saturday, July 20th, 2019, 12 noon to 5 p.m. Name and address. I'm sorry. Name and yes, address. Yes, it is Heather Austin uh, from Mill Number no. 5, 250 Jackson Street. And what is Harder Than July? It's going to be a record show. Questions? Move approval. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Good luck, Heather. Edgar Cyrus of the Merrimack Repertory Theater for event at Liberty Hall, 50 East Merrimack Street. The, it's the first night performance, three evenings, Friday, July 19th, 2019, 7 15 p.m. to 8 p.m., and a 15 minute intermission. This is for the beer and wine concession. Also, this for Saturday's July 20th performance, 7.15 p.m. to 8 p.m. and a 15-minute intermission. And then Sunday is the matinee, July 21st, 2.15 p.m. to 3 p.m. and it's a 15-minute intermission. Name and address. Right, Edgar Cyrus, uh, 134 Bowdoin Street. So this is a 45-minute show with a 15-minute break? No, the 45 minutes is, bef is the 45 minutes before the curtain goes up. Okay, got it. So the lobby is open during that time. Mr. Cyrus, you've been here a number of times. Yes, I have. Move approval. Secondary. All in favor say aye. 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 Thanks. Aye. Following which we have Gardy Desrolo of the Craft Food Hall Project for Lawn Games and Laughs Tenant Event at the End Comedy Show, which is to be held Friday, July 26, 2019, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. at 900 Chumson Street at the Craft Food Hall Project, Tower Number 3, which would be on the first floor. Name and address. Gardy DeRulo, 96 Grove Street, Lowell. And uh, is this an indoor or outdoor kind of operation? Indoor, sir. Door. Anybody have any questions? I, where is the craft food hall? It's a cross point building, sir. It's a cross point. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Good luck, Mr. Desrolo. Thank you, sir. We now have Penny Hammergas of the Worthen Cafe for an enclosed parking lot at 152 Worthen Street. This is during <coughs> Low Folk Festival, starting with Friday, July 26th from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m., and then Saturday, July 27, 2019, from 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. 
Name and address, please. Penny Hammergast, 91 Mount Washington Street, Low Mass. So it's a folk festival operation. The for years, they've been doing it for years. Yes. They have. Anybody have any other questions? Just, Cap, um, we have no problems with. No, no problems at all. Uh, thank you. Thank Move you. approval. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Proceeding with Scott Pelletier of the Entity G in AA LLC. What happened to Jerry Murphy? He's not here yet. Is Jerry yes. Murphy, I don't see Jerry Murphy here. Is Jerry Murphy here? No. 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 Okay. Scott Pelletier okay. of Fuse Bistro, 45 Palmer Street. An extension of patio for the beverage service at Palmer Street, the corner of Middle Street during Low Folk Festival weekend, Friday, July 26, 5 p.m. to 12 a.m., Saturday, July 27th, 12 noon to 12 a.m., and Sunday, July 28th, 12 noon to 5 p.m. Name and address. Scott Pelletier, 10 Jade Street, Methuen. Seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Good luck, Mr. Pelletier. All right, thank you very much. We have Anthony Contarino of Tremonte Restaurant Group, LLC, enclosed outdoor area at 44 Palmer Street, Lowell Folk Festival, 2019. Friday, July 26, 2019, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday, July 27, 12 noon to 11 p.m. And Sunday, July 28, 12 noon to 6 p.m. Name and address, please. Reed Enos, 361 uh, East Merrimack Street in Lowell. Anybody have any questions? Move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> so much for that. On page two, starting with Craig Faulkner of the Warp and Weft for an enclosed outdoor area at 197 Market Street, Low Folk Festival, 2019, Saturday, July 27th, 11 a.m. to 12 30 a.m. and Sunday, July 28th, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Name and address. Craig Faulkner, 181 Market Street, Lowell. Folk Festival. Yep. You're going to keep everything in good order. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anybody? Move approval. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Mr. Thank Faulkner, you. good luck. Thank you very much. Now we have Corey Belanger on behalf of the Lowell Festival Foundation for Lowell Folk Festival 2019 for the following venues. The foot of John Street adjacent to Boarding House Park, 40 French Street, Friday, July 26, 2019, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday, July 27, 12 noon to 10.30 p.m. Sunday, July 28, 12 noon to 6 p.m. Then there is the Dutton Street Dance Pavilion, Friday, July 26, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday, July 27, 12 noon to 10.30 p.m. and Sunday, July 28th, 12 noon to 6 p.m. And last, there is the JFK Civic Plaza, Arcan Drive, for Saturday, July 27th, 12 noon to 6 p.m. and Sunday, July 28th, from 12 noon to 7 p.m. Name and address. Corey Belangia, 200 Rogers Street. Okay, anybody have any questions for Corey? Approval. Approval, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Well, it looks like you got approved before I could ask my question. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll see you all at the Lowell Folk Festival. Thank you. Now we have our applications for special events permit, for the amplification of sound, representing the superintendent of police, Kelly Richardson, is Captain Hodgson. The Lowell Police Department's Safe Summer Movie Night is uh, starting with Tuesday, July 16, 2019, and request for rain date of July 18th, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., this is at the Rogers STM STEM Academy at 43 Highland Street. Then is Tuesday, July 23rd, rain date July 25th, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at Eagle Park at 66 Jewett Street. And Wednesday, July 31st, rain date August 1st, for 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Stock Closer School at 560 Broadway. 
And last is the date for Wednesday, August 14th, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., the Boys and Girls Club at 657 Middlesex Street. Name and address. <laughs> James Washington, Little Police Department, 50 Arcan Drive. Perfect. Anybody have any questions for the police? Move approval. Move approval. Thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. You got it. Congratulations. Uh, Penny Hammergas of the Witherland House Cafe, 141 Worthen Street, for the sound system for the Low Folk Festival, the enclosed parking area at 152 Worthen Street. And she also has requests for sound system for the balance of the summer, starting with July, August, September, into October, is the alley patio that's at 441 Worthen Street. Name and address again. Penny Hammergas, at 91 Mount Washington Street, Low Mass. Any questions? Question just on the second one, the, uh, the alley patio. Yep. You've had that in the past, is that correct? Oh, yes. Yep. And, we uh, don't, sometimes we don't even put music out there, real seldomly. That weekend we do. We always, and Sunday only. Yeah. Okay, but it's, you've done this in the past, and there have been no problems with the alley patio as far as sound problems. Oh, never. Very good. Move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. And we have Bianca Morrow of the Lowell Kinetic, Kinetic Sculpture Race for the 2019 Lowell Kinetic Sculpture Race, which is Saturday, September 21st, 2019. There will be three venues. First is the Lot A of Off Hall Street with iPod speakers on sticks and announcers. Then there is the Market Street at Palmer Street site for iPod playlists, announcer speakers, announcer speakers on sticks, and then finish up with the Sampus Pavilion with local band and announcers and DJ. Name and address. Bianca Morrow, 172 Middle Street. Okie doke. Announcers are people announcing the race. Any questions? Move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Looking forward. Good luck. And now we have Carolyn Delahanty for the movie in the park for Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. is a movie screening at the John Delahanty Skate Park at 1650 Middlesex Street. Name and address. Carolyn Delahanty, 305 Dutton Street, Lowell, Mass. Jerry Murphy just came. So you're uh, doing a movie? Yeah, free movie night for the kids. You know what the movie's going to be? A Dog's Way Home. You're welcome to come. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Move approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Have a good time. Thank you. We have Kevin Duggan for an art show on Saturday, July 27th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. acoustic music at Appleton Mills at 219 Jackson Street. Name and address. Kevin Duggan, 219 Jackson Street. Okie doke. Uh, acoustic music. Yeah, As like folk music. What? Like folk. Oh, okay. Any questions? Move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations, you got it. Thanks. <laughs> we will proceed with the sidewalk stand applications. Uh, Mark Cordaire, doing business as Mark Running at 118 Merrimack Street for seasonal permit April through October 2019. Ryan, Ryan is, is Robin Dupal Pell here? Yeah, yeah, she's here. Ryan, Robin. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't see. I've been slating uh, Robin quite a bit recently. My apologies, Robin. That's okay. uh, Robin E. Dupel of the AT P, ATP Restaurant Inc. doing business as Cobblestones Sound System for the Low Folk, Low Folk Festival for July 26th, 27th, and 28th, 2019 for an outdoor area at 91 Dutton Street. Name and address. Robin Dupel, Cobblestones, 91 Dutton Street. Okie doke. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Thank you Robin. Good luck. 
Before we move on, has Jerry Murphy yeah. showed up uh, yet? Mr. Murphy just walked in late. Let's do both of his things at the same time. I apologize for being late, Commissioner. Sorry about that. Proceeding with uh, Jerry Murphy's applications, we have his special one-day license applications for beer and wine, malt beverages and wine only, for Old Court at 2931 Central Street. This is an outdoor enclosed area at Middle, Middle Street at the corner of Central um, during the Low Folk Festival for Friday, July 26, 2019, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. and on Saturday, July 27th from 12 noon to 12 a.m. And he would like to compliment his beer and wine concession with amplification and that would be for the sound system at that time during the during the folk festival. Move approval of both. Second. Well, he has to introduce himself. I'm sorry. He may be running for office. Are you running for office? <laughs> I am not, no. no I introduce yourself anyway. Name and address. Uh, Jerry Murphy, 29 Central Street, Lowell. Okay, now. Done. Move approval of both. Uh, Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Look, Apologies once again. Maybe next year you can run. Now we will proceed with the sidewalk stand applications. <laughs> Mark Coderre, Mark's running, 118 Merrimack Street for seasonal permit April through October. We have also Eleanor Toscano, who's representing Metro PCS at 117 Merrimack Street. She wants it for the Lowell Folk Festival weekend. And then is we have Tigran. Yes, Tigran Avitson, United Dental for 131 Merrimack Street, Lowell Folk Festival, July 26, 27th, 28, 2019. Introduce yourselves, please. Mark Cadere, Mark's running. Eleanor Toscano with Metro PCS at 117 Merrimack Street. Tigran Avetician, United Dental, 131 Merrimack Street, Lowell. Okay. Any questions? Move approval. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Congratulations. We have number four on our meeting agenda, which is the application by the entity known as MAG Retail Holdings, Ford, RD, LLC, doing business as McGovern Ford, Matt McGovern, the LLC manager. Application for a secondhand motor vehicles license, class one, used car agent for the premises at 1212 Westwood Street, which consists of five acres of land with building approximately 30,000 square feet for office, showroom, and service area. Presently, the license holder is Drum Hill Ford Inc. Bernard J. Restuccia Jr., Treasurer. And this, the manufacturer for the motor vehicles is Ford Motor Company. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Matt McGovern, uh, 286 Commonwealth Ave, Boston, Mass. Uh, I own the uh, entity that's proposing to acquire the Drum Hill Ford uh, dealership operation and uh, real estate and I'm before you tonight uh, to apply for the class one license to operate the uh, dealership. Okay. So uh, this will be in essence the same setup as there is now? It will be the same exact operation building. Uh, the name will change to McGovern Ford. Okay. Any questions, anyone? No. Uh, how many other dealerships do you have? I currently have nine other dealerships, um, uh, mostly in Massachusetts, but I own uh, Toyota of Nashville, which is one you might be familiar with in the area. Um, I've been in the business, auto retail business, for about 20 years. And will you have repairs at this place too? Yes, full service repair, parts sales, and new and used vehicle sales. So if the license is allowed, then your deal will go through, you'll purchase the land? Uh, that's correct, yeah. Thank you. Just out of curiosity, when you purchase the land, are there any environmental issues, leaking underground storage tanks, anything like that that you pick up? 
So we've conducted a phase one environmental review, uh, which is, uh, I've seen the preliminary results, it's not been officially issued yet. Uh, there are no underground tanks at the location. Uh, there are some small uh, above ground tanks that we use for waste oil and fresh oil. Um, other than that, there's uh, drains in the shop that go to an oil water separator that's, being, that's been maintained uh, faithfully annually. Um, so it appears to be in very good order. Anybody else? No, no questions. Move approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Great. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks. Good, Thanks. good luck. Good Thank, luck. You. Thank you. This is the one we're going to hold. This is the one we're going to hold. Oh, I thought they had Mission will now hold the public, open the public hearing on the application by Renee M. Wolterding, to doing business as Mill City Barbecue and Brew, an all alcoholic beverages restaurant licensee at 1018 Gorm Street. The application for change of location to 11 Kearney Square, which is 3,750 square feet, two entrances, two exits, first floor dining and kitchen, and basement storage only. Name and address, please. Renee Walter Ding, 11 Kearney Square. Okie doke. So, uh, have we gotten back the cards? The what? Oh, I, I got them prepared to mail them out, but I didn't mail them today. I was going to mail them tomorrow. Mr. Chairman, if I... I didn't want to do it... Go ahead, you can speak. Okay, I think, Mr. Chairman, with due respect to Ms. Walter Ding, um, we had a conversation earlier in this week in which she had mentioned that the mailing to the abutters, there's approximately 59 abutters to the property at 11 County Square, each of which has to be sent notice by, by, the, by statutory requirement. It's a state law that the abutters on a change of location application have to be notified by certified mail return receipt request or by registered mail in the statute but for all practical purposes, it's certified mail return receipt request. Uh, Ms. Walterting did not do that type of mailing. She did a first class type mailing, but not a request for return receipt so that it doesn't meet the, the requirement of an application of this type when mailing notifying abutters, they need to be notified by certified mail return receipt. That's what had been done, That, for, whether it be for a new license application, for a change of location of a license, it is, a, it is required by state law that that be the proper process in which once the publication is done, they have three days in which to do the mailing. Failing to have sent the notice by certified mail return receipt it opens the application up to appeal. So any one of the 59 individuals, or property owners, I should say, not necessarily individuals, but property owners, could challenge the application if it was approved for the fact that they did not get proper notice. Um, to avoid that scenario and to compound an, an issue that's doesn't necessarily need to, to occur in the first place. I would recommend to the commission that this hearing be continued to our next regular meeting, which is scheduled for July the 25th. In the meantime, Ms. Walter Ding would notify the abutters by certified mail return receipt of the published notice that took place on June 28th with a cover letter to each uh, property owner identifying the fact that the commission had continued the hearing to the June, tw July 25th, in order that if the butters wish to 
um, address the commission on the application, they would have that opportunity. And you'll help her write the letter. I already did it. Um, okay, you've got the letter written. Yeah, well, I go. got the um, certified receipts to mail out tomorrow morning. I'll go right and do it the way I was I'll supposed to do it. Go ahead. I'm going to continue this to uh, the next meeting, the 25th of July. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank Opposed? you. Opposed? None? Thank you. Good luck. <clears throat> Commissioner now proceed with the communication from Raymond Kelly Richardson, Superintendent of Police, dated July 9, 2019. This is regarding allegations of misconduct charged against the licensee LD Holdings LLC doing business as Bar 74 Lounge and Grill, Abigail Murphy Manager, All Alcoholic Beverages Restaurant at 76-78 Merrimack Street. And you, I take it, are Abigail? Abigail Murphy, 74 Merrimack Street. I see, have we scheduled a hearing on this? I'm sorry. This allegation. There has to be a scheduling of a, of a hearing. Proper notice to the uh, license holder for the hearing. Right. The attorney, uh, the att licensee has a right to an attorney to be represented. You understand that, Ms. Murphy? Yes, sir. Um, so I came down today because I wanted to speak with you guys about these allegations that were against Bar 74 on the night of the 30th. Um, I you spoke should, with, mm -hmm. yeah, you should wait be, okay. and, and okay. speak with your lawyer mm -hmm. because okay. there's, the, the, we're only, it's only on the agenda to schedule a public hearing, okay. so I wouldn't want anything said that would, right. would hurt your The case. attorney told me to come today that we like basically could speak our part on behalf of what happened Next that meeting. night. But if you want us to wait, that's fine. Yeah. Yes, okay. please. All right. Thank you. I'm moving a schedule for July 25th. Hearing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, say aye. I'm not here on the 25th, so as long as there's three. Oh, okay. All in favor say aye. 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 That's it. We'll see you on the 25th. Uh, Thank you very much. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. Let's adjourn. And I can go look for the.